If you're watching this video, then you're probably wondering why other people's gradient look this beautiful while yours look something like this. But don't worry, in this video, I will show you how you can go from this to this without using any third party plugin. So let's see how to make this. So right now I'm in After Effects and today I'm going to show you like five methods using which you can apply gradients in After Effects. Each of these methods have their own pros and cons. So let's see how to do that. So here I have like five gradient compositions and I just have a simple circle over here. So let's see the very basic way of adding gradient. So in order to add a gradient, you can just simply search for an effect called gradient ramp and just simply drag it onto this layer. Now it will give you two options for the colors. You can like pick whatever you want like this and you can change play around with its position. You can like make them wherever you want something like that. Now you can see that this is very limited because you are only limited to two colors and you can like only play around with some settings like radial blur or something like that. And this is probably not a very good method of applying gradient. Now if you want to have a little bit better way, then you can apply the gradient something like this so over here we have the shape layer now in order to apply the gradient we can right click and over here we have this layer style and under this we have gradient overlay now if i open this up you can see we have a bunch of different options so first one is edit gradient now i can change this and the first thing you will notice that we can just simply click and we can add whatever number of colors we want so we can like have something around here let's click over here i can add one more color this region and we can probably like make it a little bit more darker now in the same way you can like have multiple colors over here but for this one let's stuck with these and also it gives you like bunch of different properties like you can control its opacity however you want and you can also play around with its scale something like that you can play around with different type of angles like this now you can see we have this gradient. This is much better than this one, but you can see that still it is not that good because you cannot control where you want to place the gradient. Now there is the other method. Now over here we have this layer. Now in order to apply gradient, you can also use this method. Just click on fill. We have this gradient overlay option. Now if you want linear or the radial, it's completely up to you. Let's select the linear one. Just click on OK and just like the other gradient we can like play around with it you can see we have this these handles so you can just move them wherever you want and just like the other one you we can have like multiple colors in this one and the good thing is that we can easily play around and control these handles to just see how we want to create the gradient but again this is not that impressive and one of the methods that i really like to use is applying a four color gradient and let's drag it over here now this is a much better way of applying gradient because it gives you like four colors which you can play around and mostly you will be like playing with these only so you can just play around with these you can change their color you can change the position of these points as well to highlight some of these areas however you want so here you can see we have much better gradient using this four color gradient now i'm going to show you the last method and this method gives you the best results and it gives you some really amazing beautiful gradients but the downside is that you have to do like put little bit of efforts to achieve this effect so let me show you how to do that so first i'm going to like create a new composition let's call this one gradient or we can just simply call this colors and under this we are going to like select the ellipse tool and under the fill i'm going to like set this to normal just plain color we don't want any kind of gradient and after that you can just simply click and drag hold on the shift key to create a perfect circle now on this circle we are going to apply an expression to its position so let's press p and hold on the alt key you can just click on the stopwatch now adding this expression is not compulsory if you want you can have a static gradient but adding this expression will make your gradient like have a little bit of motion which really looks really amazing so the expression is simple wiggle expression and for the values you can like go completely crazy i'm going to just set this to 0 0.1 comma 200 so you can see that if i press play now you can see our ball is like moving a little bit now if you want to like move this a lot then you can just simply change this value instead of one you can like set this to two now you can see that this will move a lot something like that again it's completely up to you but i want like very smooth motion so i'm going to set this to 0 0.1 comma 200 now if you want this ball to like move a uh, far away then you can change this value instead of 200 you can like make it 500 now your ball will like move a lot farther but it will again move slowly 
but I'm going to set this to this two value only. Now we can select this, press Ctrl D and just place like random circles here and there. You can play around with their size as well. Let's press Ctrl D and let's place one over here. Let's press Ctrl D. And the best thing about this method is that you can have any number of colors. So you can have like five colors, 10 colors, whatever you want. Let's place one to something around here as well. And after this, we are ready to add the colors to this. So for that, we can just simply search for fill. Let's drag it over here. Now I'm going to change its color. Let's make this one blue and it's completely up to you. You can just copy this and just paste it over here. This one, we can probably make it white. This one, we can probably make it a little bit darker, something like that. This one, we can probably make this a little bit pink like this and this one we can let's make this one white as well now you can easily arrange them wherever you want but again these will be animating so you can like play around with their position later on as well like that now we can have one more so let's duplicate this and i'm going to like place this one somewhere around here perfect let's move this one to this side nice so here we have these gradient now if i press play you can see all of these balls will be moving now we want these balls to be like very blurry and subtle so for that we can right click let's add a adjustment layer and on this one we can apply one more effect so let's search for turbulent displays and let's drag it over here now using this you can have like some deforms in these shapes instead of like perfect circles now you can play around with the amount to like make them however distorted you want you can also play around with the size but for this one let's just keep it to something like that yeah this looks good now in order to make these blurs blurry we are going to search for fast box blur let's drag it over here now increase the blur amount something like that again it's completely up to you, you can like make it completely blurry or like less blurry however you want perfect so once you're done with this we can go back to this composition now we can like select this colors composition which we have over here let's drag it over here now we have to change the track mat. We basically want these colors to be visible wherever we have this shape. So we can either place it down below if you're using the older version. Now I can just simply change this track mat to something like that. Now, right away, you can see we have some really nice colors. And if I press play, you can see all of these are animated. Now, the best thing about this method is that if you like feel like this is not looking good, then you can just simply go inside and you can play around with a bunch of different colors. And if I go back, you can see we have changed the look but we can play around with a little bit more and I think we can place this one over here and let's pick the white one which is this one and we can probably like scale this up let's place it somewhere around here we can like place it on top of all of these like these and if I go back you can see we have this very nice gradient now if you see a lot of black color in your scene then you can like have a solid layer at the back and let's just change its color so i'm going to like make it a little bit darker something like that let's place it at the back now if we go back now it will basically fill any areas which are like completely black so here we have our final look and you can see that it already looks very amazing but we can like enhance this more by simply adding some more effects so if i go to this layer let's right click go to layer style and we can have some inner glow let's open the inner glow property and the first thing we can play around with this size so we can just simply increase it to whatever you want something around here and we can play around with its opacity as well let's lower it down to something like that now if you want to have some colors in this this region as well then you can play around with this so if you want to have like blue then you can go with this but for this one i'm going to like set this to white only you can also have gradient over here instead of single color you can like select the gradient and after that you can like play with whatever colors you have to like completely have a different look like that but for this one i'm going to like keep it to one single color and you can play around with a bunch of different properties you can play around with the size and this and there is one more thing if you go under the screen option we can set this to dissolve now you can see that it will create this very famous this texture sort of look and you can play around with it by using the size like that and let's play around with this as well something like that if you want to go with this again it's up to you but for this one we can like keep it to the smooth one so this is our final result and you can see that it looks very amazing and the best thing is that you can just simply press play and you can see that the gradient will be moving like this 
if you want to change anything then you can go inside you can have more colors you can like change colors wherever you want and this is how you can create these kind of things also let me show you how easy it is to like apply this effect onto some other layers as well so if i select a rectangle now i can just simply draw a square something like that now in order to apply this effect to this all we have to do is just simply select this and change this track mat to this layer now you can see that all these this beautiful gradient is applied onto this and the best thing is that you can like animate this however you want you can have animation to this shape layer and the gradient will still remain like that so this is how you can turn your boring gradients from this to something like this i hope you enjoyed this one and if you have any queries or questions then you can ask in the comments below also if you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description and with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one